As we consider the bones which compose the knee, let's begin with the femur, which on its anterior surface has a patellar surface, which allows the articulation of a sesamoid bone known as the patella, which is located within the patellar tendon. The condyles of the femur, medial and lateral, articulate with the condyles of the tibia, medial and lateral. And this is where most of the articulation of the knee joint occurs. It is a synovial joint and a diarthrosis and a hinge joint, once again formed between the condyles of the femur and tibia and also with the patella gliding along the patellar surface of the femur. Note that the fibula does not form part of the knee joint. It is close to the knee joint, but it does not form part of the knee joint, and thus the knee is composed only of the femur, tibia, and patella. The knee is a hinge joint which allows for flexion and extension of the lower leg. Now, it should be noted that the knee flexes the lower leg in the opposite direction as the hip flexes the upper leg. So while the knee flexes posteriorly, the hip flexes anteriorly. And this is a bit confusing when studying muscles, muscles such as the hamstrings and the rectus femoris of the quadriceps have opposite actions on the knee and hip joints because the knee flexes posteriorly while the hip flexes anteriorly.